You mean to tell me you didn't teach baby girl that grannies can't float? <laughs> Ashley, and this is My Sweet Perspective, where I give my take on all things TV and movie related, and I am here to put you on, okay? So here's the thing. September 22nd from season three will air, and last year sometime, I binge watched the first two seasons and was immediately hooked. Now, this is in the horror genre, all right, but it, does, it doesn't really give horror to me. It gives thriller, it gives intrigue, it gives mystery, right? It gives all of those things. Absolutely here for it. I put a poll up on the community tab, and y'all said, Ashley, come back and talk about the first two seasons. So, alas, here I am. You've asked, I will always deliver, okay? And so I am back to talk season one, episode one of From. Thank you, baby. Sorry, y'all, quick break. Let's make this tea. After these messages, we'll be right back. It's journey in tonight. And it was a long day's journey in tonight. And when I saw that log in the middle of the road, that tree branch, the tree that fell, I, I knew... I knew, I knew we were trapped, y'all. So as this opens up, we see this man that, honey, I know from Best Man. He used to have locks back in the day. Um, <laughs> but we meet Sheriff Boyd, and he is walking through the town with a bell, alerting everyone that it's closing time. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. But really, you do need to go home because there are creatures that live outside when the lights go out, okay? And so he's ringing his bell, giving everybody the advisory to get in the house, go inside, stay there, okay? We see his diner where the jukebox automatically flashes on. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, that's what we're in for, right? Somebody, something is controlling this. I knew this from the first watch, okay? So in this rewatch, my eyes are open. My eyes are open to everything, okay? And so the first night we see this man and he's drunk in a bar and I'm thinking, how is he going to come into play? We see a little girl playing outside, you know, trying to be foolish with her mama, saying, mama, I don't want to go. Just one more. No, go inside. Sheriff Boy said, listen to your mama. Listen to your mama and go inside. Daddy drunk, he stays at the bar all night and mama's scared, right? But she got her baby. Next thing we know, little girl is up at her window looking at this grandma floating out of the window and decides to open the window. And before the mama can say anything, baby, it's over. Their entrails are, are all over the room. New colors. So the next morning, daddy wakes up from the bar, from the floor of the bar, walking home like, what's everybody standing outside my house for? Why is everybody looking crazy? And this is when Sheriff Boyd comes and does his big one, slaps the dog mess out of him. Fathers are supposed to take care of their children. This is going to be something I want you guys to pay attention to as we review this series, especially season one, um, that element of fatherhood and what that looks like. I think that plays an integral role in the entire story as we watch and explains a lot of the, the motivation behind why boy does the things that he does. Right. And so he makes the daddy go up there and look at the, the, the baby and the mama. This is what you did. This is what you did. And so apparently they have rules in this town that if you're responsible for someone's unalive and you set them up for danger, if you do the wrong thing, you're going to be set outside with them people, put in a box, done whatever to. OK, and so that's where we get a picture of this town. What is this town? What is it all about? We know that there's creatures that come out at night. We know that Boyd is running things. Right. So the next day. We have to bury these people. We got to bury these people. So they're making arrangements. We meet Father Catry, who is the spiritual leader, honey. But I don't even know if this man believes in God. I don't know what spirit he follows. All right. I'm going to just say that right there. Um, I don't know. We, we meet some other characters in this. The lady who works at the diner, Bizarro World, who's clearly hearing hearing the voices and, and being obedient to them, enter this Winnebago with the Matthews family. They've been driving down the road and they get, you know, turned around and now they're stuck. They're going around in circles, driving straight, but ending up in a circle. The town is seeing them. 
they get out and ask for help and everybody's paying them dust. They come when the funeral is everyone's turned around. And if I was them, I'd be thinking, let me get the out of this town. And so, you know, they see the broken tree in the road. They can't get past. it. There's nothing they can do. No one in the town will help them. They said, let's get back in the car and keep driving. Alas, dead end. They're not getting anywhere until this other car who's trapped in the town has a head on collision with them. Next thing we know, the Matthews family's Winnebago is turned upside down. We have the mother, Tabitha, the father, I believe his name is Jim. We have the two kids, uh, Ethan and Julie. Julie pisses me off from, from the moment we get to know Julie. She'll piss me off, but not so much in this first episode. And so now that they're there and they're in this conundrum, it doesn't take long for Sheriff Boyd to find out there's been an accident. Um, we meet one guy who is fairly coherent. He wasn't really hurt. We meet another guy who's been concussed. And so they get him to the local, uh, what is it? It's not a, what is it? It's a, like a, a hospital, I'll say that. Um, and we have a paramedic or a doctor. I don't know what she is just yet. Um, but she takes care of the patients there. The deputy, uh, Kenny, his father is there because he has dementia, Alzheimer's, or it's an effect of the town because I think the town has a mental health effect on select residents. And so takes them there and we think he's good. We have the long haired girl who works in the diner. She's there up to no good. And so now that they have the Matthews family, somebody got to break it to them that it's going to be dark. Uh, I need the rest of the family to get to this house by the end of the dark. And we find out the town is divided into two. There is a place where people can live their own individual lives. And then they have almost a commune, a collective house where you can live and you can live how you want to live. <laughs> okay. No rules. They're not really subject to the jurisdiction of the town. Alas, you know, we need the help. And so Boyd finds the Matthews family. The little boy, Ethan, is hurt. He's He's been, his leg is done. Um, we get the daddy, Jim, down, the sister, the mama. We have to rush them before it gets dark because we know the creatures come out at night. But in this thing, we have to tell Jim. And so ultimately, they find out the critters that live beyond the wall and these talismans that, I guess, in some way provide protection. You put them at the doorpost, just like the blood in the Bible, okay? You put them at the doorpost and these demons, these creatures, these whatevers are supposed to pass over, okay? Um, and it works for them that first night, but now the Matthews are stuck there. This is a new family. As we lost one family, we're gaining another family. I don't know if that's going to be the pattern. I'm gonna be watching very intently as we go back through this rewatch because upon my initial watch, I didn't really pay that close of attention to the dynamics of the town when we got new people versus when we lost people. If there's a direct correlation, I'm fascinated by that. And honey, by the end of this episode, that girl with the long hair, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back with her name. I just don't remember it right now. She slit that other man's throat. The newbie in town, because them things told her to. Kissed him in the mouth and then slit his throat. Y'all, it's a lot. It's such a great show. I remember watching this for the first time and I was immediately hooked because I need to know answers. I'm that girl. I'm curious. Okay. If you are enjoying the show, if you watched from, or if this is a first time watch for you, drop it in the comments below. And if you like this video, show some love, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because I'm coming at you with a ton of content for all of fall. Honestly, August is starting it, but baby September, October, November, we're kicking it into high gear. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video.